Hey guys, welcome to this week's individual weekly video for the week of June 18th. And I'm so excited because this week is actually a really cool collaboration with a chance for you to win your own tarot deck from Hip Chick Tarot. We have got Maria coming up after my forecast, not only telling you a little bit about her cards and her tarot deck, but also giving each individual sign a little mini reading of what that card applies to for them for the week. So make sure you stay tuned after your forecast to see what Maria has to say for you as well. And make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe my page and Maria's for a chance to grab this tarot deck, which is phenomenal. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for your forecast. Hey Capricorn, so this week we have got right at the beginning of the week, Neptune taking a retrograde and it's going to be retrograde all the way until November. So you've got about five months of clarity behind you and I know that you love nothing more than clarity and understanding what you got to do to achieve. So this is actually a really beautiful energy for you because see when Neptune is direct, what's happening is that things can feel foggy. We're not always seeing the truth. There's a lot of fantasy that we need in the world. Neptune is not a negative planet or a negative energy, but there are some things that lack clarity. So when he flops around there and he's asleep, we get clarity and this is showing up for you in the sign of Pisces, which places it in your third house. So one of the things I would ask you this week and over the next five months to be considering what um, this Neptune energy is showing you is, are there communications that you are ready to let go of and or maybe people that you've been communicating with or you stopped communicating with that you need to make some more time for. You need to add some forgiveness because maybe you had a falling out with them or something like that, right? Now, here's the thing about this as well. Not just communications and networking with people, but it's a very social energy. So I think it's a good time for you to be clear on whether or not you've got enough social. Are you actually showing up to your social life? Life. Now, for some people, that's going to mean they're friends. You know, if you've just kind of been hunkering down, working your eyeballs off, forgot that there's actually other people who maybe want to get to know you out there, this could be that kind of energy. But for other people, this is going to be in your website. Are you showing up? Did you finish that website, right? What do you need to get that website done? Um, the website you have, are people seeing you clearly? This is also a really great energy for siblings. If any creativity, um, healing, compassion, any of that needs to happen with siblings. So use that energy very, very well together. Now, the one thing I will caution you over this next um, few months for sure is that if you start um, or you invite someone to do business with you or you join a contract, in some way, shape, or form. Make sure that the details are clear. Um, get that on paper. Make sure everybody knows what's going on. Everything just above board in writing so that you can protect yourself, okay? Now, as we continue on down through the week, you actually get a little Virgo influence, which gives me the thought that maybe you're gonna travel. So again, I see this place of you broadcasting yourself out. Wherever you're trying to broadcast, wherever you're trying to be out, or if you're not out in about enough or you're not being social enough, this is going to be a place where you start to look like, how can I travel myself? How can I put myself out there a little bit differently? So keep that in mind, okay? Now, as we end the week, we're moving into summer on the 21st. The sun shifts over into Cancer, which is your opposite. So we know it's lighting up, giving light, heat, life, vitality, and pay attention to me, to your seventh house. So you see, again, the influence of people, relationships, chosen conscious partnerships, people and relationships you've chosen to have in your life. They may need some nurturing and the sun right here is giving you a place where you can invite them in, right? If you've been working on a project or maybe even you've been deciding, you finally decided to put some new product, new service, new book out there, allow the people around you to add a little collaboration. Don't get lost in their fears and don't choose people who are gonna be critical of your work. Instead, find the tribe to help deepen the experience, in what you're seeing and definitely give you some great feedback. Now, for some of you, the sun moving over here into the old cancer space definitely means that romance is on the brain. Some of you could be choosing at this time to consider a more serious commitment with another person, right? And I definitely feel like Capricorn, if you've had people in your life, whether they're friends or romantic partners, whatever it is, and 
you haven't allowed the depth to be there over the next four weeks until July 22nd, you really have a chance to change that. Plus, you've got Neptune, the place of clarity, um, the planet of not clarity, retrograde so bringing you clarity in your third house which will let you know and help you sense which people it's actually safe to share yourself with and then you just got to show up and do the rest all right all right capricorn i hope you have a great week make sure you like comment share subscribe my page and maria's for your chance to grab the hip chick tarot deck if you are into this this will be a fun deck for you maria's got her very own spin on it and so coming up next she's going to not only pull a card to help you focus on some things for the week but also tell you a little bit about that card so i uh, will see you guys next week i'm like so excited i have three other videos i'm recording today for you guys so Caps, just know I'm hustling. I'm achieving over here, okay? <laughs> I love you guys. Bye. This card is called Bound in my deck, and normally it's called the Devil in most decks. This card is about how you're all tied up and restricted. It's about taking a look at that so that you can wiggle your way out of those ropes. And the way you do that is through self-examination and looking, being, being able to observe yourself. Sometimes when we're caught up, say, in just a really negative uh, thought loop, sometimes just being able to have a little distance between you and that thought, just to be able to kind of look at it, be the observer of it, creates this space that separates you a little bit and can help you shift and to a different understanding or a different approach to things instead of being, you know, tied up in that. Sometimes this card, for some people, might speak to a depression that they might need to get help with or a addiction that requires help. A lot of times it's just a, a way of seeing things. Sometimes that can go back to childhood even, the way that you, you view situations or sort of how you color your life. So either through your own work or working with another person in therapy, say, or, or sometimes just being able to talk to a trusted other, you can free yourself. And in freeing yourself, there's just this tremendous amount of energy that's released that, that enables you to put that energy into other areas of your life. It's So even though this is sometimes a difficult process to go through, it's worth it. I know because I'm a Capricorn and this is my card and I know about being tied up with my own stuff and having to work through that. Sometimes this card in the reading will just mean that in a certain situation, you don't really feel free to be yourself. You feel restricted, and that could be in a relationship. So it's important to, to notice how you feel around other people and in other situations. You know, how do you feel at work? Do you feel restricted? How do you feel at home? So it there's some, um, some work to be done when you get the card usually and to take notice. But working through this is always brings you to, to more fuller understanding of yourself. And that's the good news.